What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is the black man from the UK. The UK, Trotler Brother, Dr. Blake, the darkest man around us today, guys. We are talking about Jump Force's character roster. I saw a Rhyme Styles video on it. I looked at the character roster myself, sat my cheeks down, gave myself a couple of moments to think about the roster and give you guys my overall thoughts and opinions. And boy, we got a lot to say. So, if there's been a time for you guys to get that fried chicken, get that glorious ass Kool Aid, now is the perfect time because the UK Chocolate Bar will be going ham on this video. So, without further ado, let me just get on this. So, first of all, I gotta start off by saying the roster's trash, garbage, you got Baggio, not good. The roster really isn't good. And the reason why I'm saying this is legit down to the fact that, um, uh, it don't have the right selection of characters like the number of characters is fine It's just a selection of characters a lot of people would like to see the likes of Madara A lot of people would like to see the likes of Hiei A lot of people would like to see the likes of All Might A lot of people would like to see the likes of Kaiba A lot of people would have liked to see Kora Sensei Because um, Assassination Classroom isn't in the game And um, yeah this, this is really missing out a lot and one of the biggest selling points when you do a crossover jump game is the roster. I know a lot of people want to talk about um, the gameplay and the game being good itself. But when it comes to jump games, the roster is a massive factor. Especially if you're making an anniversary game. Especially if you're making a game uh, based around characters from different series. When you talk about characters from different animes and all that stuff, it comes down to the selection of characters. The characters that a lot of people want to play as. And... For the most part, the characters that they picked could have been selected a lot better. And on top of that, the game isn't really looking that good because um, it, it seems like um, the content of the game isn't looking that great. The whole thing is looking terrible in terms of the story mode. We've got villainous characters roaming around again or characters turning evil. Should I say, we've seen that in Xenoverse 1, 2, and we've also seen it in Dragon Ball Fighters, and now we are seeing it in this game and honestly it's been played out a lot and when it comes down to everything that we've seen so far this game doesn't look like a day one cop in my personal opinion obviously you've seen me on twitter if you guys follow me on twitter if you don't dr underscore blick link to that will be in the description below and don't bother popping into my um the quote unquote discord server because uh i i i got rid of that man that server doesn't exist no more I felt like um, I just wanted to focus on uh, on my um, on making videos and focus on talking to a select number of people. I thought interacting with the community would be a good idea, but all it does, for the most part, is bring drama and all that stuff. But that's besides the point. That's a topic for another day. I might make a server in the future. I don't know. But at this moment in time, I want to focus on achieving my goals and achieving my dreams and just bettering myself and improving as a person in terms of all aspects, in terms of achieving certain goals, in terms of achieving certain things, get what I mean? And um, drama and all that stuff is all a, dis is all a distraction. But it's whatever, isn't it? But um, one of the major things about this roster is um, for a lot of people's eyes, not enough female characters. I can see, I can see a complaint for that. Me personally, it's not a big deal. And um, I never really had a problem with that. Sanji not being able to hit women, uh, based on the way this game is, it shouldn't affect you due to the fact that all three of your characters share one helper. So there's never going to be a point where you're down to Sanji and you're up against a woman. That can never happen because everyone shares a helper. So the likelihood of that happening just comes down to whether you refuse to tag out Sanji. And um, from that standpoint, it ain't that bad. From other standpoints is the equal balance between different series getting a certain amount of characters. Obviously, in a lot of people's eyes, including my own, My Hero could have got more characters. Um, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho could have got Hiei. He could have got more characters as well in that series. And um, obviously, if you want to put Black Clover in there, that could have got more characters as well. But me personally, I don't really care about Black Clover. So it's not really a big deal. And obviously, another major point, there is no Madara. Madara is probably is the most iconic villain in Naruto, period. If you ask people one of the best villains that they've come across out of the main big, big, um, big series, 
Madara is a, is, is a guy that's going to be put up there. You, you go through any fan of Naruto, you can't tell me one person that did not think that Madara was badass. And not seeing him in Jump Force is a massive loss. No one wanted Kaguya. People would have much rather would have preferred Madara. The only reason why I can see that they put Kaguya in is due to the fact that they needed to add more female characters. Even though they could have put Madara and Sakura. That would have been better than Kaguya because... Me personally, if I end up do if I end up getting the game, I have no intentions of using Kaguya. No matter what, Kaguya never really strike me as a fun character to use. Didn't strike me as a fun character to use in Storm, and didn't strike me as a fun character to use in um, in uh, sh I was gonna say Shinobi Striker in um, Jump Force. It is what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? They got Boruto, which is okay. I guess they could have picked a better character. They got Gara, which. It's a bit random. Cell and Piccolo are also in the game as well, which is random as well. A lot of the roster don't really make that much sense. And them having character creation, in my eyes, I know a lot of people may disagree, is a way for them to say that, yo, this is the reason why we can't give you the roster that you would have liked. This is the reason why J-Star's roster is better than this game's roster. Even though this game may be the better game overall, but the roster from J-Star takes the game. If you have the choice to ask anyone, what roster would you rather have? J-Star's roster or um, or Jump Force's roster? A lot of people will pick J-Star's. The only thing that J-Star's is really missing is My Hero and um, Yu-Gi-Oh. But me, I'm, I don't really have a solid memory of Yu-Gi-Oh. So I don't really feel anything when it comes to that series. It being in there, it's whatever. It, no, it, if it wasn't there, it's whatever also. But it all comes down to what type of fan you are. And I did hear that when it comes to DLC, they're going to let the fans decide. And that's a terrible idea due to the fact that when you've got jump games, not everyone is a fan of each series. So say for example, I could like Naruto only. And I could be a massive person, of, a massive fan of Jump Force. The idea of me being a Naruto fan and whipping Goku's ass. I, I, might, I might like that idea. So since I might like that idea, and since they're asking me to pick characters, the only characters I'm really going to pick are from series that I like. I'm not really going to ask for more characters in a series like uh, Black Clover, am I? I'm going to ask for a series that I like and I want to see more of. So if you're looking at it from that standpoint, you're never really going to get a solid gauge on what character should be there and what character shouldn't. In my eyes, I, I don't really know what they're going to do with the DLC. Do I care? Not really. The only time I'll start to care is if I buy the game and get into the game and really like the game. But based on the beta, I did not really enjoy that game that much. But um, that's pretty much all I've got to say. The roster isn't that good. There's no real rant on this. Reason being is I'm under no pressure to get the game. If I did get the game, I would play it on the channel. I would do gameplays. I would do the stuff that I did with... Um, with uh, uh, BMQs, if you were there for that long, you guys remember BMQs, Blitman Quest. <laughs> and also, and, um, Road to Greatness on Burning Blood. I would have done the same thing or done a similar thing online with, um, with Jump Force. But that game doesn't look worth getting. It may be. I may be wrong. It made great, re great reception. But based on what I played, I got bored of it pretty quickly. Honestly, pretty quickly. But as a whole, guys, I want to know what you guys think about this. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. And yeah, let me just wrap up this video. So, please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying. Please like, really enjoy this video. And yeah, this UK Trotler Brother will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.